But right now I'm going to bring this guy up, who uh, Jonathan Katz, who has uh, been on The Letterman Show, and he's got two movies coming out in October. And uh, the first one is called, let me see, what's it called there? Things Change and Lip Service. Two movies. He's been uh, written a movie with uh, David Mamet, and he's in a, another David Mamet film. So pretty cool guy that I'm bringing for you right here on the Cable Comedy Show. Please, a nice round of applause, Mr. Jonathan Katz. Thank you very much. That's very nice. That's terrific. Pace yourselves. Well, that, was a, that was a nice response. And, uh, it's nice to be here. Mike mentioned this is going to be uh, longer than the Tyson Spinks fight, uh, but I don't know if you mentioned it was going to be a little bit more violent also, ladies and gentlemen. No, 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 I'm just kidding. Okay. Did it scare you? You thought I was going to yank out a clump of hair or something? No. But it is nice to be here. It's nice to see some adults. I, uh, I spent the day with my, with my five-year-old daughter who has me totally wrapped around her little finger. I, I don't even try to win anymore. I just try and save face. I say things to her like, go to your room at your earliest convenience. Okay, daddy's going to count to 1,500. She's got an incredible imagination. We were playing a house today. She says to me, let's pretend you're the daddy, only you have a job. Nice, real nice. She's an only child, and uh, she asked me the other day, how come? Because she doesn't know any other children. I'm a coward, I didn't want to get into it. I said, look, you have an older sister, but you're always missing her by about five minutes. <laughs> she said, hey, that's, that's like my other daddy, you're always just missing by about five minutes. She's doing great, though. She's a, uh, she's a senior in nursery school, and uh, <laughs> she loves it. I'm having a tough time, though, because I remember how cruel kids can be to each other, how clannish. I know I was. I hung out with the other bald kids. And, uh, <laughs> I used to get picked on, too. I was a little guy, so my father enrolled me in the local martial arts academy, where once a week I would get beaten in a more formal setting. <laughs> College was fun, though. I went, to, I went to college in Vermont, majored in psychology until I flunked group therapy. <laughs> what happened was there was one woman in the group who never spoke. The instructor finally asks her one day what her problem is. She, she points to me. She says, I don't trust him. He says, look, Eileen, there's an exercise you can do. I want you to stand in front of Jonathan with your arms out at your sides. I want you to fall backwards into his arms. In the process, he will earn your trust. Well, to make a long story short, about six years later, she wheels up to me to convention. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah. I want to give her a false sense of confidence. So, so uh, my, uh, my aunt died two weeks ago, and uh, she was cremated, and we think that's what did it. <laughs> uh, so. I'm kind of an oddity in this business. I'm a happily married guy, it's true, folks, and I'll tell you why. It's because my wife and I do not take each other for granted. Every morning for six years, I ask her how she takes her coffee. It's a small thing, but it's annoying. <laughs> and when we make love, I never assume she wants me to wear the jammies with the feet. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. But actually, uh, lately I've been worrying about my wife because our parrot keeps saying, give it to me hard and fast before my husband comes home. <laughs> and yes, I'd love a cracker. <laughs> yeah. She claims that the bird is a compulsive liar. So we bring in an expert, sure enough, it flunks the polygraph. <laughs> what, you think I enjoy telling that joke? A little bit, yeah. So I've been traveling a lot this year, and I enjoy the, uh, the traveling. I like to fly. It's the only time it's socially acceptable to go like this. <laughs> I just flew into Boston yesterday from Los Angeles. The, the plane was hijacked by an inexperienced hijacker. He put a gun to the pilot's head. He said, take this plane to Boston. <laughs> the pilot explained that that was, in fact, our destination. 
He said, okay, pretend it's my idea. Nobody gets hurt. <laughs> Next week, New York City, my hometown. That's where I'm working. And uh, I always love to go to New York because I get to spend some time with my grandfather, although he doesn't realize it. <laughs> I said, the guy's 103 years old. Has no idea who he is, where he is. He's in a nursing home in Brooklyn. I saw him last week. I spent three hours in his room. He doesn't say a word to me. I get up to leave. He says, come here, I've got to tell you something. I was in the kitchen with Dinah. <laughs> well, that's great, Grandpa. Keep strumming. Wonderful news. That's great. That's great. He's, uh, he's never really been able to, to grasp what I do for a living. He, uh, he thinks I'm a Canadian. But, uh, My dad's getting up there too. We just celebrated his 81st birthday. That's the tough one, 81. You wake up one morning and you're above the recommended age for Scrabble. <laughs> I think this is my big finish, folks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Big John Cat. Come on over and sit down. Tie this on for me. Jonathan Katz who uh, has done movies yet puts understand. the microphone on upside down. Just testing it, Mike. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Child can do it. And so can you. Thank That's you. right. Nice to be here. Nice crowd, huh? Very nice. Huh? And, uh, you know, movie guy. Guy has actually gone from being stand-up comedian to an actor. How do you make the transition smoothly from going uh, comedian to actor? First, you put your two knees way up tight. Yeah. Move them to the left. Move them to the right. Stop me if you've heard this. Okay, no. no, actually, it was, uh, it was about as easy as possible because I, uh, it was my first movie I portray a stand-up comedian. I what movie is this? It's called Things Change. comes out in October. Um, I'll reimburse you if you don't like it. But uh, <laughs> I should stop saying that, really. Yeah, I'm really. In you're into big dough now. Bill. But I, I, I played the part of a uh, comedian named Jackie Shore. Jackie Shore. Jackie Shore, lounge comedian. I call up the director the night before I go out there. We shot in Lake Tahoe. And I, uh, I, t I say to him, hey, tell me something about Jackie Shore. What's he like? And he says, I wrote the part for you. Jack you are Jackie Shore. I get out there the next day. Guy picks me up at the airport. He says, you're the guy playing this sleazy comedian, right? <laughs> <laughs> How long did you shoot on this movie? I uh, worked on it for about six weeks. And uh, were you shooting every day? No. Uh, so you no, had a Mike. lot of days off. There's a lot of... Shh, they don't have to know that. Yeah. Well, they want to know that. Yeah. They want to know about the guy who lays around in the trailer drinking beers <laughs> while everybody else... That, this is the guy. Is that, yeah. is that what happened yeah, half so the much, time? So much fun, though, really is. You get it was shot where? It was shot in Lake Tahoe. In Tahoe. Yep. So you, did you get to meet any uh, celebrities that you've always wanted to meet, John? Uh, I got to... Uh, I danced with, with Charo. <laughs> <laughs> um, that can lead I, uh, to injury. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I'm okay. Coochie coochie to death. Uh, yeah. I'm too old for that. So, uh, married with child, because I did your, the benefit That's for right. you Mine, over no, at. That's where I know you from. Nursery school. Right. I did a benefit for his nursery school true. over in Newton. We, we were on the. Uh, what was the show you, you said you felt like you were on? I have no idea. Oh, the, old, the old Dick Van Dyke show. We, we felt like we were doing. We were on the, this is something that we, we should keep to ourselves and we can't actually share with your viewing public. Well, I was hoping you'd have something funny about it. But, uh, <laughs> this is a joke, folks. Calm down. <laughs> These people are getting judgmental all of a sudden. Yeah. I hate that. That's right. Yeah. yeah. How is the, uh, the wife and kid? They're actually, they're okay. We're going through our first real crisis, though, as a... As a What's that? Well, my, Susie, my wife, wants to send my daughter to nursery school. I mean, no, to, uh, to Hebrew school. And, Hebrew uh, nursery school. Well, to Hebrew, you know, to F Oh, go ahead, you tell the story. <laughs> it's the big shot. And I, you know, I was raised in a Jewish home, but we didn't take the whole thing that seriously. My dad, when I was a kid, told us that we liked the, the eight Hanukkah candles to acknowledge the suffering of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> and, uh, That's what I'd heard, so, uh, too. Snow White. Yeah. My so in-laws are the Orthodox Jews. They have two satellite dishes, so right. uh, could go either way. <laughs> But uh, we'll work it out, Mike. Yeah, well, that's going to kill in yeah. Brookline. Believe me, these people aren't yeah, they, from Brookline. I know. They, 
when this goes out over the that, that particular satellite, I'll have to get show. in touch with these people. Absolutely, yeah. we'll call them a little bit yeah. later yeah, on. I got to apologize. I'm a little why I'm a little shaky tonight because just before I I got here tonight. This lady in the, who is actually in your studio, and she's, she's wearing a white dress, she has on glasses, and sitting next to a child there. She comes up to me outside on the street and says, Jonathan, I have never seen this woman before in my life. Right. She says, Jonathan, this is your son. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if you can get them on the monitor, but that was a very, very uh, unnerving experience, obviously. Well, you got her in free. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> so I figure we're even. Uh-huh. There yeah. you go. I can say to hell with yeah. the child support, get her into the cable comedy show. Exactly. That's a good plan. I think that's good. Yeah. Now, you're going in, you're originally from New York City. Right. And you're going to go back to New York? Going back to, to my home turf. You know, what are you uh, going to do there? Just, uh, I'm doing showcasing a couple of auditions. A couple of sets? Yeah, a couple of comedy sets, my comedy skits. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I'm going to come back. And be with the wife and kid again. Yeah. I was mugged my last time in New York. I, lo I have lost my street smarts. That, that was you got mugged in New York? What happened? Terrifying. Uh, you know, you, you, you say things in that situation you haven't used and you haven't said in years, like, I'll, I'll be your best friend. Um, <laughs> you know, it's really awful. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Katz. Thank you very much. Come see his movie. Come see his movie. Please.